everyone! Happy New Year! And welcome to my first Dory Paint video in 2019. You know, I have a couple of annoying things in my Dory Painting routine. I've mentioned some of them already in my videos before, but today we're going to talk a lot about them, we're going to get rid of them, we're going to fight and win, I hope in the end. So, the first thing is the terrible smell of Mr. Super Clear sealant. You know, this spray is toxic, this spray does smell, and even though I always spray my dolls in another room, not in my studio, and the door between the two rooms is always closed, and there is some sort of ventilation in that room, like holes to the outside, the smell stays anyway in my studio all the time and I really don't like it, it's toxic, you know, when I use it 20 times per day. And another thing that I don't like, <laughs> I don't like to blush doll bodies, I really... It takes a long time, it's also powders flying around because you're sitting for hours with these pastels, powders, blushing it back and forward and it's not such a creative process, let's be honest you're just basically changing, like repainting the doll from one color into another color and that's it and that's why this year, as a Christmas gift I gave to myself, to my atelier, an airbrush and I really hope that the airbrush is going to solve both of these problems. First of all, I will be able to use the Liquitex medium instead of the Mr. Super Clear sealant. And the Liquitex medium is not toxic, it doesn't smell and the powders will not fly around <laughs> the whole house. And I also think that it's gonna be really easy, much easier and faster to change doll body color with an airbrush than with layers of Mr. Super Clear and layers of pastels. But this is of course all theory, guys. I've never worked with an airbrush before, I've never even held it in my hands, so I have no idea if it's gonna work, but I hope, I hope, I think it will. And it's already arrived to my house today, so now we are going to unbox it, see how it works, test it all, and please, before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and after you watch these videos, please put your likes if you enjoyed my transformation today. And for now, let's unbox and start working. Let's go! So this is what I've got. It's an ultra 2-in-1 airbrush from the brand Harder and Steenbeck. It's a really good professional European brand and I've decided to buy this one and not the Iwata airbrush because it will be easier to find the supplies for this brush here in Europe because Iwata is it's a Japanese brand. Wow, it looks so good, so shiny and it's quite heavy. It feels good in my hand, like good, heavy in a good way. And there is an extra needle of 0.4 millimeter and the needle of 0.2 millimeter is already installed inside of the airbrush. The next thing in the set is such a cleaning pot and I think I will use it a lot because of course easier when you have a closed container like this with a holder for an airbrush and it also has a filter on top of it to keep the tiny particles of paint inside of the jar. Then I've got also a set of very liquid acrylic paint made especially for an airbrush, a bottle of cleaning product to clean the airbrush, Two products from Liquitex, one is to seal those between the layers and another one is for a finishing layer that is waterproof. And also from Liquitex I've got some special colors. I've connected it to a compressor that blows air through the airbrush and now let's quickly test it, how it works with some bright paint. I put a couple of drops of it to the cap and here we go! Everything works really good and it even feels like I can control it, yeah, super! But I don't know if I have mentioned it already in my video, but we are actually going to repaint it all today, guys! And it's probably time to start and to see how it all works in practice! Oh, 
For my frozen snowflake repaint, I've chosen this Laguna Blue doll. Let's quickly prepare her for makeover because I really can't wait to test my airbrush. The first steps are always the same. I remove her original outfit, then I cut her hair very short, then I make her head soft with a hair dryer and pull it off from the body, then with my old tweezers I remove all the sticky plugs of hair from the inside of her head and then I remove her old face with pure acetone. I've bought lots of different types of saran hair lately and it's just ideal for rerouting. It's very fine and silky hair, so you will see lots of rerouted dolls in the near future. And this time for the frozen look, I will mix very light ice blonde hair with a silver tinsel. Like this I'm filling in all the holes and it takes me normally about two evenings to complete it. And then I add quite a lot of tacky glue to the inside of the head and I spread it there nicely. And then when everything is dry and ready I can finally start testing my Christmas gifts. The idea of sealing dolls with Liquitex Medium I've got of course from Andrea's videos on her YouTube channel called Nicole Dreams. You know her art of course very well, but if suddenly you are new to her channel, I will link her tutorial on sealing under this video below. And if you want to check the original source, you can find it all there. Now let's change her skin color and for this I'm going to first paint it white to create a background. I want to experiment a little bit with fantasy makeup today, so as a main colors for this makeover, I've chosen the blue and the pink ones. So, first I mix in the colors and then I take my airbrush and just let myself go. And I can tell you it's really fun. This time I did just some sort of free brushing. I had shades and colors, trying to make a cute winter look, just letting myself be completely free. And after this I spray the face again with three layers of the Liquitex sealant and I let every layer dry for 30-40 minutes. For now I can tell you that the minus point of the whole airbrushing thing is that you have to constantly clean your brush after you use it and when you want just simply to switch the colors. And if with Mr. Super Clear sealant it took me just 30 seconds to seal a doll, really shake, spray, done. Now it takes for sure 10 minutes because every time I need to clean the machine. Probably later I will be able to do it faster, of course, but right now it quite works on my nerves, even more than the smell of the Mr. Super Clear. Before it was, oh, I need a minute to spray a layer. Now, 
Oh, I need to spray a layer. Oh no, it, I will wait. I will wait because I don't feel like making it all dirty and then cleaning again for half an hour. And like this, you know, I'm losing hours procrastinating. Because from a super easy spraying from a can, it becomes the whole job and you need to do it 20 times per day, you know. Let's see how it goes farther. Maybe I still will be back to the smelly Mr. Super Clear. And meanwhile I've chosen a set of pencils to work on her face and first of all I've made them sharp. Now I can start sketching the eyes and I see that the grey pencil works really good on this new sealant. But I would even say that the surface is a little bit too rough and grainy. After the Mr. Super Clear sealant it was more smooth, you couldn't really see the grain the tooth like you know this roughness of the surface and here I can kind of see the roughness I don't know for now it's all very questionable to me honestly With a very cold pink pencil, I draw the lips and the waterline of her eyes. Ok, it's enough probably for the first layer, now let's seal it and let it dry for 30 minutes. After the sealant is dry, I apply the second layer of white, because you always need to build it up layer by layer. And then I draw the grey shadows to show the round eyeball shape. Then I take a purple pencil and I start working on the eyelids. I want to work on her face with soft pastels a little bit, especially on her eye makeup. So first I get some powder out of the pastels using a piece of sanding paper. I've sealed the layer of purple pastels and now I want to add pink accents to her makeup. For the eyebrows I use light pencils, because she has silver blonde hair and her eyelashes I also want to make very light for once. And now I can finally draw the irises and give her light blue eyes.
This layer I protect again with the sealant and then I start drawing the highlights. I draw the bottom eyelashes with a white pencil and by the way it's the very first time I'm giving the white lashes to a doll with white acrylic paint I add reflections to her eyes And then I seal the face with three very thin layers of liquid X varnish. And when all the layers of the sealant become dry, I apply a touch of silver paint to the sides of her face. And I do it as the last step, because otherwise the silver paint wouldn't be that shiny anymore, if I applied, for example, the matte finishing varnish on top of it. And I want a lot of silver shine here to match the silver tinsel in her hair. And now let's finally work on her body and first of all I want to cut all the fins off. To fill in the holes in her legs I am going to use another Christmas gift, this epoxy scalp that I've seen so many times in Delightful's videos. Catherine is always very excited about it, so I really wanted to try it as well. So I take now a little bit of clay from each box, mix them together, fill in the holes and let it dry for 24 hours. And this epoxy scalp seems a really good thing, guys. I already feel like I will get addicted to it too. I will use such a carton construction to protect my studio from paint flying all the way around. And I use it also as well to make pictures of my dolls, it's some sort of a half light box. First I paint the doll's body white and then I add blue, pink and silver colors to make it look exactly the same like the face. So now I can put the head and the body back together and start styling her hair. Especially for this makeover, I've bought very delicate and fine white lashes. Let's attach them now and then cover the eyes and lips with glossy acrylic varnish. I've asked my mom to make a cute white dress for her with a sparkling snowflake on the front and with some white fluffy details maybe and here it is and my mom has also made a snowflake crown for her and it looks really pretty and to finish her look I want to give her white skating boots but first I will paint the soles and the wheels with silver acrylic paint And here is my snowflake! 
Honestly, guys, it was quite an intense makeover for me this week, because approximately all my basic steps have been changed, but in the end I'm more than happy with the result. I will still keep testing the sealant, of course, I will give no final resolution on it today yet, but for the body blushing and also for the face contouring, the airbrush worked just ideal. I really hope it will become a new step in my art career in some way. And I'm also very excited about the epoxy scalp. Be sure you will see it in my next videos again and again, because it opens some horizons, of course. The doll will be for sale on eBay again for 3 days, so like this more people can get an opportunity to buy it than on Etsy. And now it's your turn! First of all, tell me what you've got for Christmas and the new year, and if you liked it or not, because I think it can give many of us an inspiration for some next future holidays or even for gifts to ourselves. And after this, tell me of course, what you think about all this airbrush experiment? If you have any experience with it as well, and what do you prefer most? And that was it for today! The next week we are going to experiment some more and please support my art with your likes and also check if you subscribe to my channel. All the new members are welcome to the family, I post new Dory paints every week Friday and it means that we will see each other again very soon. Please be happy and very creative in 2019. Happy New Year, love you guys, bye!